Hello friends, welcome to Bid Learning Club. In this video, I will show you one error. So when you are trying to create a post method, and let me show you. So here is the register HTML. So you can see the form and the method is post action is dot. And now here, this is the function register and here if request dot method equal to post. Okay, so when you fill the register form and then so when you just fill the form and just click on register, actually what will happen? So I just fill this and just uh, give a email ID. And this is the username and this is the password, just password and confirm password. I fill all of these things, but just create or uh, just click on register. So it will not execute the post method. Actually, I just show you. So it will not execute this block. And directly it will execute this else block. That means no post method. So just you can see this. This is the no post method. So all are right. But what is the problem? So for this register, just go to urls.py. So for this register, the namespace is register. OK, so now just go to views and this is the uh, register and this is the function now just go to views this is the function register now this is the register function and this is the if block if request dot method equal to post and here is the else block that means no post method so render and render register dot html go to register dot html and here is method is post but you need to change the action so what is the namespace namespace is the url uh, namespace is the register so, so just copy this register and now go to register.html now just remove this dot and now just type here url and now just paste the namespace register so now save it so everything is fine now run the server again okay so just run the server python manage dot py run server and now just go to the local host and now fill the form again just give our email ID, username, GGG, password GGG, and confirm password GGG. So now click on register. So this time it is worked. Okay. So here is success. And what is this success? Actually, this is this print. That means user user is now saved okay so this is basically uh, the fix for the error so in the next video i will upload full authentication system in django by user and you will get a free pdf of this authentication system how can any user register on your site how can any user log in your site how can any user log out so i will upload a full video in the next so thank you for watching this tutorial.